Okay, my contribution to Scenario Land is the following. Since I was a kid, I have been totally excited about an idea called the Symbiont Network. That's my name for it. And it's basically this. Uh, if you have some kind of a psycho or social pathology right now and you're in a mental institution somewhere, you know, you get maybe 20 minutes a day of psychiatric nursing attention and you can act uh, during that time and then go back to your normal situation of being abnormal. Um, maybe you see spiders walking down the wall or something uh, regularly because you have some kind of a paranoid schizophrenia or something. You don't have anybody to talk to or interpret that with. And yet, paranoid schizophrenics are less than 1% of the population on this planet. 99% of us don't have that problem, right? Well, the Symbiont Network is basically using networks to allow a whole bunch of normal minds to have tight symbiosis connection, conversation, interaction with the few people that have these problems. And I believe, I bet, that if you were able to put uh, these individuals, uh, give them a necklace that they wear, a little flip-down camera, and they can see the person they're talking to, the person can talk in their ear um, to them, whisper to them if they want, and the person has a camera that allows, the necklace has a camera that allows the person, the symbionts that are talking to the person, to see what the person sees. In that kind of environment, you could have 10, 20, 30 normal, quote unquote, people, do-gooders, people who just have free time and want to help out, um, connected up to people who need help. Some kid who just gets out of juvenile hall, who has, doesn't know how to do a resume, has very little self-confidence, could be connected up to 10, 20, 30 people that they find to be cool. And the people they don't find to be cool, they can say, no, I don't want you. Maybe two or three of them would be professionals su uh, supervising all the rest of the do-gooders. And the bottom line is you would always have a bunch of normal people popping in on, the, on that tiny fraction of people who really need the help and just saying, how are things going? Can I help you out? And you'd always have a lifeline or two or three or 30. And I think businesses, um, people who are, who are in, uh, looking for productivity, would want symbionts. Kids growing up in school would want symbionts, and they would want what's called a cognitively diverse symbiont. A group of kids, that, you know, the, the athlete, the uh, uh, mathematician, the um, business guy, they'd want a nice diversity of maybe 50, 100 different specialties within their symbiont network. And they're going to outcompete kids that don't have access to that kind of a thing. So for me, symbiont networks can solve a huge number of problems and also elevate our kind of group comp uh, group computation, our collective intelligence to a whole new level. And I think they're possible now with 3G and almost 4G broadband in some locations. And the only reason they're not happening is nobody's been crazy enough to just try it out. So there's your scenario. Thanks.